Good morning, sir. My name is Erica Rose E. Bautista from BSN 1B and I will be your nurse for today. So first, collecting a specimen for sputum culture. So, ask the client to remove any possible contaminants from the oral cavity by brushing his or her teeth or by using a mouthwash. Ask the client to cough forcefully after taking several deep breaths. Then, expect to correct directly into the specimen container without touching the sterile inner surface of the specimen cup. Have the client repeat the cupping process until 5 to 10 ml of sputum have been collected. Collecting a specimen for throat culture. So first, explain to the client that the throat swab may cause a tickling sensation or make him or her gag. Reassure him or her that the procedure will be brief. So first, ask the client to till his or her head back, open his or mouth, extend the tongue, and say, ah. Use a pen light to illuminate the posterior pharynx. And then, insert the swab without touching any part of, of the mouth or tongue. Gently but quickly swab the tonsillar area. Remove the swab and do not touch part of the tongue or mouth. Insert the swab into the culture tube, taking care not to touch the top or outside of the tube. Crush the ampule at the bottom of the tube and make sure that the top of the culture tube is secure. Collecting a specimen for urine culture. So first, instruct the client to carefully clean his or her perineal area. This reduces the number of microorganisms at the urinary meatus which could contaminate the specimen. So for a male client to retract his foreskin slightly if uncircumcised, tell him to use a circular motion to clean the urinary meatus and the distal portion of the penis. Instruct the client to clean several inches down the shop and to use each towelet only once. So for a female patient to separate the labia minora and cleanse the perineum from front to back and to discard the towelet. Tell her to use all the towelets provided, usually two or three, using each towelet only once. Ask the person to start voiding. This flushes out any microorganisms without the meatus. Place the specimen container into the stream of urine and collect the specimen. Make sure do not touch the container to perineum or to the pens. Collect 30 to 60 ml of urine in that container. Cap that container tightly. Tying and removing sterile gloves. So first, wearing clean gloves. Clean a serum surface. Remove and dispose of the clean gloves. And practice proper hand hygiene. Remove the outside wrapper of the package by peeling the tabs apart where indicated. And then, place the package of gloves on the clean dry film surface at waist height. Maintain the sterility of the gloves by touching only the outside of the wrapper. And then, grasp two edges of the wrapper and lift the edges up and away from the gloves. Being careful and not to touch the gloves as you open the package. Put one glove on your non-dominant hand. With your non-dominant hand, pick up the opposite glove by grasping the section that has a folded edge inside the cuff. Lift the glove up and away from the wrapper. Hold your hands above waist level and insert your dominant hand into the glove opening. Gently pull the glove into the place with your non-dominant hand, touching only the inside of the cuff. Do not attempt to strengthen out the glove fingers un until both gloves are on.
Close the wrapper. Keeping your hands above waist level. Keep your hands above waist level if you need to adjust both gloves. Do not contaminate the sterile surfaces. Remember that you can touch sterile surfaces only with other sterile surfaces. Glove removal. To remove gloves, one glove at the heel of the hand with other glove hand. Peel of the glove. Holding it in the palm of the glove hand. Reach under the cuff of the remaining glove with one or two ungloved fingers and peel off the other glove. Discard the glove and perform hand hygiene.